So, Lo Chanel and Siobhan Monique are back on the scene. Carol's so, what are we doing talking about? We're talking about today how <laughs> to be a secret. Mm -hmm. It is always important. Get this shit right. I'm right. trying. I don't like that like that. Sorry, audience, one second. It's All always right. important to have a double side to you, meaning that you're one person at work, you're one person there, but on the side, you're another. The secret about me is at work, I go to work, and the white folks, they love me. You know what I'm saying? They love me. I'm like, yeah, yeah, white folks. You know, no, I ain't like that. But they like me, their eyes are low. But when I come home, mm -hmm. I really want to have sex in front of my living room window Me too. <laughs> with the blinds that. wide open <laughs> so the neighbors can see what I'm doing. I'm not into that. I could care less. That is what I would prefer. <laughs> so a lot of times what happens is that we as women, we try to, we try to explore, we try to do different things. Um, my husband's into porn. Um, he's been into porn since I met him. One of the biggest struggles for him is, you know, as a bachelor, he lived alone, and you know, he would he would explore porn on a regular basis. Porn. Well, when he got with a woman, it was hard to disassociate from the porn. It was like, you know, now I actually have what I want. I got a woman in the house. I get to play out all these fantasies. You ain't laying it down. Let me show you what you're supposed to be doing. Lies. She don't do that. She tried it. <laughs> she want to do that. I do that with a bottle. Have you ever sucked your man's toes? No. Yeah, because my man has pretty feet. I've never done that before. He has pretty feet. Tab, I, this is the shit I got. This is the shit. Look, for all y'all that don't know, you want to buff your husband? Yep. This is the shit. Is that called? Downy Unstoppables. You throw these on in your washing machine, your shit will come out smelling so goddamn good. Your man will give you $20. So I want to bring up the issue of uh, why is it that some women cannot get married? Why can't there's women out there that have tried? They've stayed with their man 10 years, 5 years, 8 years, and they just can't seem to get the ring. Why is that? Because the man is the one that decides when you get the ring. It has nothing to do with the woman. And, you have, and the reason why you get the ring is because your man has needs that need to be met. And the thing is, you don't know the needs that he has to be met because you just messing with him. You don't know. You know what I'm saying? So okay. it's it's a luck of the draw. It's like, you know, you know, sting of, you know, sting of dice. Nice. You know what I'm saying? Like, right. you don't know. You know what I'm saying? When I got with mine, mm -hmm. the thing about my man was, you know what I'm saying? He's one of like six. You know what I'm saying? So he needed to be catered to. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and my thing was, I'm a caterer. I'm a cancer. You know what I'm saying? So when he got with me, I did everything. I mean, I'm telling you, if he said come in the bathroom and wipe my ass after he took a shit, I'd have done it. You know what I'm saying? Because that's just what I was on back then. I ain't on that now. <laughs> but I was on that back then. You know what I'm saying? And so I did those things. Now he says I have changed. But there are women that do that, and it's still ain't enough. The man's still not going to do it. Because that's not the need that he needs. It's, yeah. it's a deep need. So is it it's a to be deep about the need. man's need? Deep need. Deep. <laughs> So you can do everything. In a, don't you dare, because you will. Don't try it. Stop. <laughs> you spray that. My iPad is done. <laughs> she laughing. She's gonna take this home. I ain't no more. Left. All right. So the question of the day is: What is the longest life lesson? I'm sorry. What is a life lesson that took you the longest to get? That I'm not a cave woman. Can you elaborate? Yeah. yeah. What I mean by I'm not a cave woman, these got dang fake eyelashes is touching all against my eye, my, uh, what are these things called? Shades. Okay, my <laughs> thing is this. Pregnant. Mm, come on. In the house. Mm. Oh, I'm fat. Mm. Oh, I'm horrible. Oh, I'm not this. Oh, I'm not that. Let me oh, get your shoes. Where you going? Oh, when you coming back? I got dinner ready. Who is that on the phone? Who's Texting. Oh, I'm tossing and turning. Oh, I can't sleep. Where are you? Do you love me? Am I pretty enough? You know what I'm saying? Those were the things that I started to do, and they are happy with you living that kind of a life. Okay. Why? The, the women because need to know out there why. Because, ladies, it's nothing for them to worry about. 
as long as you doing that, ain't nothing for them to be worried about because you worried about them. Got Instead it. of being worried about your damn self, you so worried about the hell they doing. You know what I'm saying? And I, can I bring up something? I was yeah. at a church uh, last Saturday with well, my girlfriend. And there was a lady in there, and, I, and, and God don't—I swear to God, God don't strike me down. I, I, I'm a compa—I'm a counselor, so I care about people. But she raised her hand and she said, "Pastor, I've been looking for a man." She said, "Pastor." She did. Or pastor. 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 Right. No T in there. And she said, "Pastor," she said, "I don't understand why I'm a good woman. I, you know, I go to right church. Back. What? A very, very big one. No, I don't mean it like that. I mean, it's a big one mentality. Let me speak. No, Let me speak. Do that it's a big one mentality. Mm -hmm. And what I mean by the big one mentality, because somebody's over here getting their feelings. This is Tabitha Alvarado. No, what I'm saying by that is that it's a mentality. I... I do that. It's not physical. It, it's not physical. What, what I'm saying is that okay, you have a mentality. Change, let's take away big and call it something else. Okay. No, it, that's what it. I call it. You're a big one. It's a big one mentality. You know what I'm saying? Which is, I ain't talking about, because there's some bad bitches that's big. I'm big. Right. Thick. Beautiful. Big. Okay. Thighs. Beautiful. Okay. Shapely, you know what I'm saying? Right. But what I'm trying to say is, the big one mentality is, you keep looking at you. I do mm. everything. I'm a good woman. I don't sleep around. If I do, I keep it down. You know what I'm saying? Why don't he want me? Instead of looking at it, why Why should I want him? Mm. Well, you know what I'm saying? Why right. should you want him? You know what I'm saying? I went to the club one time and brought somebody with me and ran into one of my victims and he said, why would you bring sand to the beach? Oh, Y'all check this out. You know what I'm saying? See, you can't do Ciroc all the goddamn time. You know what I'm saying? Niggas got kids. <laughs> all right. Stay tuned for part two. We're going to get into sex next. Anything else you want to say? Yeah. We'll take a commercial break. Yeah, we'll take a commercial Pay break. Pay our sponsors. I do wants to tell y'all this. Back to the big ones. <laughs> it ain't about your size. It's about the mentality. If you have it's the mentality I wish people that got you, that. that's what I mean, that yeah. you worried about what the hell he's doing. Mm -hmm. Make him be worried about what right. you doing. Dude, dude. All worried about him. Ain't ain't getting just, no sleep. Got 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 lines under your eyes. Tired, tired looking old. Looking old, skin looking bad. Tired because you is so damn worried about what the hell he's been doing. Let me tell y'all something. Everybody thinks the grass is greener on the other side. You're thinking you're getting married and everything's gonna be alright. That's a lie. Okay, who he Lies. wants you is is the woman that you that he married, which mm -hmm. was the one who catered to the needs that he needed. But you can't do that shit for life. You gonna hit a point where you're like, well, what about me? Well, I didn't even do nothing. And he ain't doing that. So Show this is gonna right. lead right in to part two. Don't go nowhere. Sex. Thank you.